Hey, what's up, guys? Remember when the GameCube had the Game Boy Player? Even when the Super Nintendo had the Super Game Boy. Basically, handheld emulators for the uh, for the TV screen. Well, uh, we have a good opportunity to get a 3DS player. Not just a DS player, but a 3DS player. Why a 3DS player, you ask? Well, um, let me just pull out the Wii U gamepad. Okay, if you haven't noticed already, uh, we have a touchscreen. Whoa. Amazing, right? Okay, um, we also got the analog sticks. Uh, and it might feel better for games, uh, with an analog stick instead of a circle pad. Uh, we got the plus pad, so that's Q. And then we got face buttons, start and select. And they have it set up so it's a lot like a DSi and DS Lite, DSi XL. But yeah, like, I like how they implemented that. We even have an L and R, but it can also pull off 3DS because it can also support the Circle Pad Pro because we have an extra analog stick, but we also have ZR and ZL because uh, Circle Pad Pro also has ZR and ZL. Yeah, not just another freaking analog stick. So, uh, if you think just looking at buttons is just a hint, that may be kind of stupid but here we have more to prove okay uh, you see these gold plates those are for the charging dock but this thing in the center is not for the charging dock in fact if I get like two pens or something or two toothpicks I can push that in this thing's a chip hmm what could possibly plug down here uh, still not enough for you Okay, these things right here, they're not speakers. These things right here are speakers. And then we have things like that up here. So maybe they could just connect. And then we have a screw hole. Possibly screw something in so it's nice and firm. But what are we going to need in there? It's going to be nice and firm. Uh, maybe a 3DS player. Like What it's probably going to do is like you're just going to put the attachment on here. And then you put a desk in, in the Wii U, just like the Game Boy Player. And yeah, you just play it. Like a DS. So it's going to be like the freaking 3DS double XL, if not triple XL. So, uh, hopefully if they do implement this. And plus it has built-in gyroscope too, I forgot to mention that. So, uh, we can be like 3D Land. Ooh. Or Ocarina of Time. Ooh. So yeah, like, oh, and we also got the stylus. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, we have so much potential right here for this to be a freaking 3DS player. Like, I will be able to do playthroughs of handheld games. Like, I can do some DS games if they do come out with this. But I won't be able to do everything because I'm not going to have anything to capture the, the touchscreen. So games I could possibly do are um we can do new super mario brothers one and two um we could probably do pokemon but i don't feel like doing a pokemon playthrough i think that'll just take too long it'll be too boring um we could do super mario 64 that would be really really cool um i can do some mario kart 7 gameplay i can do even Super Mario 3D Land. And uh, maybe Luigi's Mansion 2. Um, hopefully we can do that. But we just gotta see how that's gonna turn out. So, uh... But, like, but we can also do, like, Kingdom Hearts and Legend of Zelda and stuff. But I can't really beat those games very well, so... We don't want a video... We don't want multiple videos of me just walking around in circles, like, not knowing what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, guys... Do you guys believe that we could possibly get a 3DS player? Um, if you agree with me, you can leave a like if you want, and be sure to let uh, us know in the comments. And if we do end up, if it does end up being announced and we get a release date, I'll be the first to let you guys know. At least I'll try to be the first. <laughs> but I'll try to be in the top 10. Because I know... IGN's gonna cover it, Machinima's gonna cover it, but Machinima's kinda late, so I can probably get it there before Machinima. 
Uh, 3DS TV, like Nintendo 3DS TV. Uh, he's probably gonna get it. Uh, like right, like probably like as soon as uh, IGN gets it. So yeah, I could probably be in the top five to uh, announce it. So uh, yeah. So as soon as we get that 3DS player, the first playthrough I'm doing is Super Mario 3D Land. So uh, yeah, guys. Uh, again, like hope like Nintendo knows they have the potential to do it. Like, the Wii U is more powerful than the freaking 3DS. So, and plus, everything is on here. So we have the potential. We can do it. And, the only thing that's going to be a problem is the, uh, ex the extra memory that's going to go in an SD card. But, we can put an SD card in the Wii U, though. But, on here, eh, probably not. So, I don't know, guys. Um, yeah, if there's anything I might have missed and stuff that could probably be problems, we can turn the freaking comments into a freaking forum or a blog so that we can be all like, okay, uh, but yeah, we can just answer each other's questions in the comments. And heck, I'll learn something, everybody will learn something. So, yeah, we can totally make this video a benefit for. Benefit for any Wii U lover and 3DS lover. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, hopefully Nintendo will announce this soon. Hopefully we can get a sneak peek around E3, hopefully after E3, like they did with the 3DS XL. Like, right after E3, they're all like, oh, crap, we should have announced 3DS XL. Ah, oh, well, we'll just announce it right now. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, uh, I guess I'll see you guys later.